Sizzling Steve. It's time for you to toad the line, my boy. Get on your marks. Steve might be ill-prepared, but he has at least washed his feet. And with that Usain Bolt-like stance, I have faith Steve will be lightning Three, quick. Two, one, hop! Yes! <laughs> it's a confident first jump. Yes! Come on, Steve, forward, forward. Let's get a bit of a motion in the ocean. I'm going to try and keep up with you, Steve. <laughs> yes! Yes, oh, hold on to those toes, hold on to those toes. Go. Keep it bouncy, keep it light on your feet. You can do it, you can do it. Oh! What in Kermit's name was that? Steve traveled 25 centimeters, just 9 meters 75 short of the target. And look, he's so slow in the slow-mo footage, he's basically stopped. Less of a sizzle, more of a drizzle. Shall we move on? Yes, let's. Do your thing, Cherry-san. Cherry, preparing exactly how ancient samurais would before traditional frog-jumping battles. <coughs> Stirring scenes. Are you confident? OK, Steve. Steve I'll beat Steve any road. Easy peasy. Can Cherry beat the 25 centimetre gauntlet thrown down by the Sizzler? Or, dare we dream, the world record itself? Three, two, one, go! Get up, Ribbit! <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't think any of us were expecting that. Disaster! Cherry's barely crossed the line when he topples over backwards. He's finished minus 30 centimetres from where he started. We found the Japanese Superman's kryptonite. His own toes. Calamity for the land of the rising sun, but great news for Team UK. Steve, you're in the lead. Yes. Remarkably, Sizzling Steve's in the lead with 25 centimetres. Even better news for Team USA, Ben. This is raised for the taking. But can he do the full 10 meters in 8.22 seconds to claim the record? Three, two, one, go. And with that, Ray's already won the competition. Come on, Ray. This is how you frog jump. He's a hip hopping, frog rocking, powerhouse of a. Oh, uh, well, but who cares? We won. Um, you know that's not actually an American flag, Al. Hey. A flag's a flag, and a win is a win, Benny boy. U.S. Ray, U.S. Ray, U.S. Ray, U.S.A. So no one managed the full 10 meters, but Team USA claimed the win by being the least rubbish. A hollow victory, really. Whatever, loser. Let's see how that affects the scores. Would you look at that? A proud lineup of number twos. It's neck and neck and neck. Do, do, do. 